All right, welcome to another RoboLink tutorial. Uh, this is lesson four for drones. So in this lesson, we're going to be learning how to do reset yaw on um, for our drones. So real quick, like all our previous uh, programs or lessons, we're going to start with adding the library that we're going to be using. Uh, no different here. And we're also going to start by adding our setup and our loop. So those are things that, if you're getting tired of hearing it, I'll say it one more time. <laughs> we're going to have to add every time we write our code. So once you start, um, once you combine everything, you only will have to do one. Um, but in all these little snippets, we have multiple. So, in our setup, once again we have 0.begin. So, 0.begin establishes the serial uh, that we're using serial communication uh, to send uh, commands to our drone. We're also going to do smart drone control.begin, telling the board what pins are being initialized and how we're going to be using them. And we're going to add a delay of 1000 milliseconds or 1 second. Um, again, all of these are going to be in all your programs. If you want to add different buttons that you want to use, you can go ahead and add them here at the setup. So again, keep in mind that this is meant to be used with the Smart Inventor board. All right. So for this one, what is Reset Yaw? So every time you start your drone, um, before your drone is able to fly, we have to send out a signal saying that we're going to be flying. Uh, real quick, lesson that we're going to be using for the function lesson is number four. Um, so that will disable the reset yaw in the program that's already in there. Now, going back to what I was saying. So what does reset yaw do? So yaw is the, how would you say, the, the whenever you mess with the yaw, you're messing with the robot turning on its axis. So when you reset yaw, you reset the 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 status of that position. Now, in this, whenever we reset yaw in our drone, we're saying that we are ready to fly and that we are starting over from zero. So before you're even able to make the drone start going usually you gotta set it into the state uh, why the state? well we're not only gonna be sending out a signal to the drone that we're resetting the guy but we're also changing the state uh, that variable that we keep using in most of the other functions and we're changing that variable to state into from ready to fly um, Again, more than anything, what we're doing here is we're making an S statement where we're checking the bottom middle sensor. So if you look at your Smart Inventor board, you'll see seven sensors on the bottom of it. The, bo the middle one is 14. And 11 is the leftmost one. So if you're touching 14 and not the left one, 11, then you're going to set the sensor into reset yaw. Um, if you're touching both of them, then you're going to create issues. Now, again, we're doing an if statement because we don't want it to always be resetting it and we want it to be only when we want it to. Um, the rest of the stuff that we're going to put in here is again it's an indicator so our computer would be really happy by itself if it didn't have to do anything right. Um, it doesn't need indicators of what it's doing because in reality you can't see it all these flashing of the lights and all that is for our benefit. It allows us to be able to see what is happening and um, it makes it easier to debug if there's an issue. So if your stuff is not working, uh, it's not starting, and then you notice the lights are off, then you can tell that, oh, okay, maybe it's an issue that it's not staying there or something is happening. So the first part blinks four times and then it leads, lets the LEDs on the board on. Uh, when I see, say the LEDs, I mean, I believe it's 16 and 13 that are stay on. I might be slightly off, it might be 12 and 17 instead. 
um, and that way we can tell okay we're ready to fly it's at reset yeah otherwise it'll be kind of confusing for us um, again these are debugging tools so when you make something that is physical if you can give yourself indicators of what's happening much easier later on if you make a mistake maybe you misspelled something or your if statement is wrong easier to tell okay so again this is the actual function that is doing the 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 task of sending the the fact that we're gonna be uh, resetting the position of yeah um, once we do that we're gonna again we we kind of the whole idea of the controller of having some, these things in the loop is that things are able to repeat over and over and over, and we can use that to our advantage. However, sometimes you don't want to move on from a position before you're ready, right? So we want to make we want to trap the program at this point until the person is ready to move on. What, what does it mean to be ready to move on? When they let go on the button, right? So if you're holding on to uh, the middle sensor, uh, sensor 14, then you're going to be stuck at this function. So that's what this function does. It just keeps repeating in place. Uh, it is not a typo. It is pre's. Um, unfortunately, it got written wrong on the uh, library. So just go with it for now. Uh, if you write it like that, so long as you're consistent, like you can misspell things as if you want to with your variables. Um, again, the computer doesn't care about variable names and all that. It just cares that you're consistent with them and that you write things in correct syntax. Alright. So then, finally, we change the state to fly. Now, state is a is a variable that dictates the well, it's kind of in the word, the state of the trunk. So, so far we've done stuff that has the state uh, ready. So it's ready to go, but it's not at that point. And now we're changing it to fly, which is we're ready to fly. Um, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So quick overview, or this lesson, quick overview of what it does. Uh, basically, whenever you touch the middle sensor, you're going to reset the yaw. So the position, the angular position is going to get zeroed out in a sense. And then you're going to be uh, ready to fly. So every time you're trying to fly your drone, if you do not reset the yaw, you're not able to fly. So keep that in mind. Uh, so before takeoff, always reset yaw. All right. Have a good one, and thanks for watching. Have any comments, any concerns, any suggestions, go ahead and contact us. Uh, and I'll see you next time. Later.